Uh, on this issue of a uh, subsidy, I will say that uh, the Nigerian government, past government starting from the era of uh, President Jonathan, they have decided to use the subsidy removal and the subsidy payment as an avenue for them to steal mo most of our funds and all possible also steal the crude. You see, there was a time in 2012 when we had an engagement with our former president, President Jonathan, where he said that uh, there's a need for them to remove the subsidy. Some of us in Nigeria then now said, no, sorry, you cannot just remove subsidy. And we just felt that something was there and was a scam, that we're not even paying anything at all. And this same government of ours, that is where for me personally, I have a, a, an issue of uh, distrust for this government. Most of the leaders of this current regime then told us that, sorry, there was nothing like subsidy payment and that was a scam. But we are not shocked that this same set of persons where you had economists, accountants, financial experts, you know, leaders in the petroleum sector, who told us that they were not like subsidy. Now they are not telling us that they are paying subsidy. They are removing subsidy today. They have to be the more again. They bring it back and what have you. So it's quite shameful and quite sad that they have they have been able to capture the Nigerian people that they can tell us anything. For me personally, uh, payment of subsidy up to today is still a big scam. Recall there was a time the uh, NNPC said that uh, they were paying this subsidy and some persons refused, some big companies refused to bring in the right quantity. Up to today, sir, how many persons were prosecuted? How many companies were dealt with? Not at all, nobody. They just kept up busy at that time and find people were receiving money for subsidy and they were not bringing in food. Up. But let me tell you this. How can you be producing cassava in your, in your farm and you say you cannot have enough patients Produce it maybe to scale up to produce dairy or what have you, or rather you send it from Benin to Enugu State to go and for, for them to go and process it for you to become dairy and not other other products. It's not shameful. We are the fifth largest uh, producer, you know, country in the world now that has a lot of crude depots, oil deposits. What are you doing with or rather instead of all fixing our refineries? That was not done, but we had derived greater joy, comfort in exporting our crude. Hereafter, they only send back to us only three products. Whereas from crew alone, you can get about 31, 30, about 31 by products. They're not shameful. And, 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 and when this regime came out, the people regime came, came on board, they told us that the refinery was working at 25%. That was in, uh, I think, uh, 2020. And when the, uh, the former president was running, they said the refinery were working at 65%. The question is, the refineries are working. Where is the product? For example, now you are a lecturer at the university and you say that you are lecturing, you are teaching, you are, you are producing people that will eventually come out to, to the larger community to come and empower. Yet, for five years, 10 years, nobody's graduating. What are you doing? And you have workers in this sector that are receiving salaries and nothing is coming out. So for me personally, I just believe that the government of today have succeeded in capturing us that we cannot even talk. I see no reason why, as at yesterday, Dan Bote said they were going to uh, they, they went to court saying that NNPC here has no right whatsoever to issue license to other companies and um, matrix oil, rail oil, and others to import fuel. Recall when they went ahead to flag off to commission Dangote refinery. We are told that when the refinery comes on board, it will take care of our challenges, our fuel, demand for fuel, and others. But now the company came up and we are still having some challenges that has to do with the, the workings of the company. Is that not shameful? If the government decides, let us just fix only one refinery for this year, for, for the for the first three years, next year, the next three years that we continue, is that not proper? But rather the economy, the growth of the economy, economy is now tied towards the happening in Dangote refinery. Is that not shameful? Yet we have ministers ministers who are expected to work for the people, or rather, they are putting in place policies that only favor uh, um, down to the front.